We established the office in 2006 in this same space. We've been here for 15 years now. To oversee the design development and our collaboration with consultants for the linked hybrid project, the third phase of the MoMA project. After that, obviously, see the construction process of it. And it was very helpful for us. It was our first large project in China. It allows me and the company to have a more balanced view and try to achieve this great um, success. So the fact of being here, having a presence here, it's the best tool that we have to achieve those high aims of quality and design standards. It's a tough, tough site. It's very narrow, it's very long, and to the north of it, there's a residential plot. So there were some sunlight limitations to it and some programming allocation limitations to it. When we had this diagonal sun cut that we had to observe, it became part of the geometry of the building in which Stephen designed these scoops of light, these curved roofs that allow the natural light to go through to the north plot, but also allow the entire roof of our buildings to have natural light to all the spaces inside. Limitations become design tools, and they become what we call phenomena, things that people will experience and they will enjoy. In that plot, because it's so long, we decided to break it, make it porous. So we allowed the building to allow people to go through the plot, which was unique. That porosity also allowed for natural light to go inside of all the places in the building, including the basement floor. In addition to that, because the project is so long and Stephen wanted to break it into four different towers, we created gardens between the towers. Even if you're not on the ground floor, you will have a landscape area to go out to enjoy the outdoors in the few months that is enjoyable in Beijing. We've been here for 15 years and we continue to do projects that are of higher aspirations. Because of that, we develop projects that do more than what the market demands of a particular site. We provide an idea, interesting shapes, interesting experiences. The best collaborators are the ones that want to do more than what they normally would do in another project. They understand that this project is unique because the idea demands a different geometry. In the linked hybrid, it demands that every building has a bridge, becomes a new challenge for a structural engineer. Dr. Shiar from CABR, great friend and someone who understands the concept and wants to be part of the experience and challenge and go for something that is a bit more interesting than the work that he would do for any other commercial project. Well, collaborators and our clients have understood and supported that those ideas make the project better. So they will go the extra mile and we will try to make it all work out in the end. We're very excited for the next couple of years because we have three projects that are very singular and very different opening. We have the cultural and health center that are just finished. Right after that, probably it will be the CIFI project that we're doing here in Beijing, which will be a very different project from all perspectives. And then the following year we have, we're completing two super high rises in Shenzhen, the iCarbonX headquarters. Those are three different project typologies. It gives you three different scales, three different types of languages. We continue to do a lot of concept design work. Once we establish a relationship with a client, we try to do a concept design and try to understand each other. And if we things move forward, then we can complete the project together. I am very positive right now trying to look at something that is more about urban renewal in Beijing. We know that urban renewal is the next chapter for this city. The beauty that I see in that is that our practice is very strong on sustainability. I like to keep what we're doing, but I would like to do a bit more on that as well.